So a few years back, the Center for Disease Control released a incredibly alarming report. Suicide rates for young people in Utah over the past decade had spiked 141%. And we don't know of that number how many actually identify as LGBTQ, but we know a lot do. One of the issues that kept coming up time and again for us in our community was the psychological trauma and impact of people who had endured various forms of conversion therapy. Conversion therapy is when a therapist attempts to change a person's sexual orientation by using harmful and discredited practices. It was a really dark part of my life. They went along the approach of teaching me that my sexuality and part of who I am was something that was meant to be erased. And I remember feeling scared that I might do something I'd regret. I felt low and depressed. I was considering suicide a number of times. So in the fall of 2018, at the Equality Utah Allies Gala, we announced our plan. We will be introducing the Ethical Therapy Act to end these abusive practices in Utah. The bill would regulate state licensed therapists and would ban conversion therapy for those 18 years and younger. I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I am a Republican and I decided to sponsor this bill to prohibit conversion therapy. I have had many informal comments with several of my colleagues in the legislature and I'm optimistic that we will have enough support in the legislature to make this thing pass. Any time that I would have a moment of pseudo-arousal, I was supposed to drink the Epicac syrup, which would immediately induce vomiting. We had the data, but we knew that the most impactful thing that would move lawmakers' hearts were the stories of survivors. Somehow we were going to dismantle me and put me back together and have it be a whole person because the pieces somehow weren't fitting. I thought it was my fault that the therapy wasn't working, that I wasn't trying hard enough. And I think by this moment, sure I believe that God loved me, but I had also been conditioned to believe that if, if I did what was right, this would change. So we had this bill and we had Republican support. We had the LDS Church not opposing moving forward. And so we went to present the legislation in our very first committee hearing, and all hell broke loose. It violates the constitutional rights of the therapist and of parents. The opposition kept saying, conversion therapy doesn't happen anymore. And yet, there was a whole line of conversion therapists in the committee room waiting to testify against our bill. Parents looking for help for their questioning child would not have any place to go for help. Instead of actually protecting children from the real practice of conversion therapy, they tried to pass a bill that only would prohibit the most extreme and outdated forms of conversion therapy. The bill right now is not in a, uh, is not in a position that I can support, as the language is, is, is right now, but we'll continue to have discussions. But if you can't get that language, are you going to kill your own bill? Uh, we'll see. At that point, I think Governor Herbert began to realize the gravity of the situation. I was sensitive to the fact that conversion therapy and uh, the problems that it created for people's lives. And so I thought, why don't we take the politics out of it and do it through a professional licensing and let really the scientific community and those who know this issue best make the decision. And he asked a state board of psychologists for help in drafting a rule that would protect Utah's children from conversion therapy. After the legislature failed to pass a ban earlier this year, Governor Gary Herbert went around them and directed Utah's Division of Occupational and Professional Licensing to draft rules. The Board of Psychologists did a wonderful job drafting the rule, and there was a public hearing, and at that hearing, there was overwhelming support for the rule. 94% of the comments were in support of the rule, and there were thousands and thousands of comments. It will help to reduce the potential to have suicide risk and save young lives. And it is vital that we hold licensed professionals accountable for the therapeutic practices in which they are engaging in. So that summer, Dan Reynolds from Imagine Dragons helped amplify our message. And on the stage of the Love Loud Music Festival, I asked 20,000 Utahns to help us end conversion therapy. We know to reduce and end suicide in Utah. 
We must create a radical culture of belonging. We must send a message to every kid in this state. You are loved, you are loved, you are loved, you are loved. And there is nothing about your sexual orientation or your gender identity that is broke that needs a therapist to repair it. And so we found consensus with the governor, with the board of psychologists, with all the LGBT organizations. And in January of 2020, Utah became the 19th state in the nation to protect minors from the dangerous practice of conversion therapy. We all knew that and we expected an uphill battle to get this bill passed and uh, prohibit conversion therapy throughout the state. But one thing I did not anticipate is how much of a privilege it would be to sponsor this legislation. Kids are never going to have to go through what I went through on that level. And when it became law, it was just a, it was a golden day. I believe that this bill communicates that to youth that are vulnerable to this practice and that it protects them from the harms that I have undergone in some of the worst days of my life. Um, I think it also protects parents from making a mistake that could cost them their youth's life. So ultimately, this bill means to me that youth will be accepted and protected within our communities. And I'm thankful to live in a state like Utah where we say that you matter to everyone. Thanks, guys. There are still 30 states that have no laws banning conversion therapy. Our LGBTQ youth have double the rate of depression, triple the rate of suicide after conversion therapy. It's not working, it needs to change. Thank you guys. Thank you all so much.